the one time I wanted to actually click off. It doesn't. For everyone asking for the fill up total, uh, it, it wasn't completely empty. It figures that the one time that I wanted to actually work and to click off when I'm filling up the gas, it, uh, it, it doesn't. But yeah, that's probably the number one thing that I hate about my Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT and all of my Jeep Grand Cherokees just in general that I've had or, you know, been in contact with. Because if you guys haven't had this issue, then you're very fortunate. But basically what happens is the... You put a gas nozzle in and it clicks off every like two dollars or something like that and uh you guys might have saw in the intro i'm not sure if it's there but yeah it spent like eighty dollars to fill it up and i wasn't even completely empty so if you guys are wondering how much it costs to put gas in this thing then there's a kind of rough idea so today we're gonna be talking about the five things that i hate about my jeep grand cherokee srt you guys know i love making these videos i make them for pretty much every vehicle i own so i can just kind of tell you guys the good and the bad and uh share the experience with you now of course i will be talking about the five things that i love in a future video so make sure to stay tuned for that i'm sure it'll be coming in a couple weeks but let's just go ahead and jump to the number two thing i'm not sure if i'm going to say that this is one and a half or if this is just number two but having the front license plate on here is just uh that it, it's a huge no-go for me on any vehicle you guys know that i hate that and uh that's probably got to be one of the things that i hate about it because the front of this vehicle looks so good the jeep grand cherokee srt looks so so good and it just has all these nice body lines and aggressive looks to it down the sides in the front just in general all over you know it has this really nice uh, look to it and then you just have this big clunky plastic piece on the front so uh that will obviously be getting dealt with but it's still probably one and a half or two things that I hate about it because it just completely takes away from the front of the vehicle. Now this is a feature I've talked about before and I'll probably always talk about in every Jeep Grand Cherokee. And that's gonna be in here in our settings and that's gonna be the, uh, the backup setting. I'm not sure, I think it's safety and driver assistance. And then it's park sense rear braking assist. Now this thing is absolutely awful. And basically as you're backing up, even if you're like two feet away from something, maybe even more, uh, for me at least it's been crazy. Uh, it's gonna slam on the brakes and just like completely far away from where you wanna be parking. So rear park sense braking assist is probably, yeah, that's definitely number two or three on this list. I hate it and I always recommend that everyone turns it off unless you guys are one of those people that doesn't know how to drive, which if you don't know how to drive, maybe I should make a driving tutorial tutorial here on the channel that could be a video you guys need to learn how to drive i know some people out there i mean i'd be driving around and people don't know how to drive so yeah rear park sense braking assist is definitely going to be number two or three on my list of things that i hate about my jeep grand cherokee srt now the third or fourth i don't even know where i am but the next thing that i want to say that i hate about my jeep grand cherokee srt is going to be in the auto mode down here so you guys know we have the little mode selector switch obviously yours will look a little bit different depending on which vehicle you have but in the srt at least i'm not sure if this is the same for all models but the uh, auto mode here when you're in auto mode and you're driving if you actually go through your little screen over here and you go to where it's going to show you your gas where you guys can see we got 4.7 average miles per gallon right now for whatever reason uh you know that's really good normally it's it's actually like 11 or so i don't know it, it, it's okay obviously gas mileage is something no one likes but you know that's miles per gallon baby it is what it is not going to include that because it's obviously not a thing but uh, in here, it'll actually show you that it switches to four cylinder mode. Now, when it switches to that four cylinder mode and you are in auto, it's gonna basically feel like, I don't even know how to explain it. It almost feels like the car wants to shift or like needs to shift and the transmission's like kind of grinding almost, it feels like. And I think it's also something with the exhaust. The exhaust kind of sticks with like the valve system and stuff. It's, I personally think it's not a pleasant experience at all and it feels like I feel like something's clunky or something's broken. If you guys want a full video going over that whole thing and why it is how it is, uh, which is I think I should do is talk about it because I know a lot of you guys will have that question. Uh, so I'll probably go over that in a whole video on its own. But yeah, that's something that I absolutely hate because when you're in auto mode, it feels like clunky and almost like it needs to shift, but it's not. And it kind of, you know, it feels like it might break down. I don't know. It, it kind of worries me. It doesn't feel very smooth or safe. Uh, I don't know. It could also just be me being paranoid, but just the feeling of it plus being paranoid, it's not a good combo. Now, another thing that I absolutely hate about the Jeep Grand Cherokee and just, you know, the SRT, but just all the Jeep Grand Cherokees in general, I've had the same issue with all of them. And that's going to be the rattles. I mean, literally everything in here has like a plasticky rattle to it. I mean, like you can hear it everywhere. Everything's like that. So you'd think for at least, you know, the amount of money that these Jeeps start at, that they'd be a little bit better. I mean, like everything in here like this up here is like known to rattle like crazy up behind the mirror this up here rattles like crazy when you put sunglasses in here they rattle around like crazy like just the headliner in general just rattles around pretty much everything in this jeep just rattles around and 
Uh, if you're like me, you get very like annoyed by little rattling sounds like that, and this Jeep, you know, just really doesn't help with that. So that's definitely one thing. I mean, anything you push on in here. I mean, most cars are like that, but there's just something about the Jeep that I feel like everything rattles in here. Maybe it's just because there's so much to it, but it, it it just rattles so so much, and it's just one thing that just just drives me crazy that I wish I could change. Now, what else do I hate about my Jeep? There's honestly, like, this is hard for me. Like, it was easier on my other one because I had the start-stop, you know, uh, different features like that that were things that I hated. And then with this one, I'm having trouble coming up with five things that I hate, and that's with including the front license plate mount. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I just really love the Jeep Grand Cherokee in general and the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. I'm gonna come up with one more though. Give me like, give me like five minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you, give you one more. Three thousand years later. I got it. I got it. I got it. I came up with two more half things. Okay. Okay. So that that counts as one total, right? Two half things. Okay. So the first thing is gonna be the silver trim in here. This like nice shiny chrome stuff that we got going on everywhere. Luckily, it's an easy fix. You guys can know you can wrap this. Super simple. Not too big of a deal. But especially this little trim down here. This thing reflects onto your eyes so bad. If you guys have one of these Jeep Grand Cherokees, which I'm assuming a lot of you guys probably do have one of these Jeep Grand Cherokees, you guys know how bad this is, and sometimes this just reflects. Obviously, simple fix, keep that up, but then you got your ugly cords going down there. But, but yeah, this like reflections on this is definitely one that's going to be a little half point of things that I hate on this vehicle. The following little thing is going to be all of the lights in here being halogen. Obviously, I understand it's because we have the little dimmer over here. Like, I get that's why, because they need to be able to dim. But these ones in the back, you can't even change out if you want to. So you can't even go to LED on those unless you solder them and take the whole headliner down, which it is an SRT. I did say I'm going to go all the way. So maybe if you guys want a video of that, let me know down in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll go ahead and drop the headliner and actually show you how to solder in some little LEDs on there. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know yet, but it's definitely a possibility of something that I might do here on the channel. So you got to subscribe down below. Stay tuned. Stay locked. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.